Hello friends, Coolio here and welcome back to the channel. So guys, we are jumping into the closed beta test for one of my most anticipated gacha games of the year and that is Counterside. Now before we get into the video, I want to just let you guys know for full disclosure that this video is sponsored by Counterside as well as LD Player, which is what you can see I'm currently playing on. So thank you so much to LD Player for sponsoring today's video and if you guys are interested in playing this game, I will have a link down below where you can click on it and play on one of the best Android emulators that you can currently play. So let's go ahead and jump into this game because I've just been crazy excited to finally be able to play this game. Um, well finally be able to play a global version of the game because the thing is I've actually put in quite a uh, quite a lot of hours into the Southeast Asian version of the game and if you guys didn't know there's actually an English version that you can play right now that you can jump into if you head on over to the counterside uh, main website for their Southeast Asian version they actually have a link where you can go and download the APK for those that are on Android and be able to play the game like right now so I've actually put in a decent amount of time uh, playing the game just on the Southeast Asian version of the game. Uh, so I'm actually pretty interested to see how they're going to kind of work with the update system, if they're gonna kind of try to update the global version as quickly as they can with the Southeast Asian version of the game, because the game has been out for kind of a long time. I think that it's been out for quite a while for the English version of the game. And then for the Korean and Japanese, I think it's almost been about two years. Like it has been out for kind of a long time. We've waited a long time for this game to finally launch. and. Now the closed beta test is here, and I'm super, super excited to finally be able to play an official global version of the game and not have to like jump on over to different servers. And I'm a little bit sad though, because I have a Korean account and I have like special Valentine skins and stuff that I had when I first started playing it. And I don't have them anymore, which makes me really sad, but I'm kind of hoping that they'll have some pretty cool events uh, once the game does officially launch. Um, so the closed beta test, by the way, is going to be for, I think it's about like a week or so. And they will actually go through and uh, and wipe our accounts and stuff once the closed beta test has ended. Um, is it going to let me add my characters? Yeah, let's go ahead and add a couple of my characters. I don't know why I like reset my team. Um, I don't want these guys. I want her. Yes, let's replace them. And then I want her to be my leader. Oh, actually, no, I want her to be my leader. And then let's go ahead and reorganize this. Now, if you guys have never played this game before, if you've never seen videos of it, you kind of have like a, I don't want to call it just like your basic squad or your team, it's kind of like a deck of cards. And depending on the order that you have them set it, like right here, is the order in which you'll actually draw them during combat. Uh, so you'll want to kind of mix and match these in certain ways. The reason why I have it set up this way is it not only drops some really strong characters right at the beginning, but it also gives me the Peacekeepers, which summons three units, which helps me with like smaller enemies that will attack. And then I've got a healer character that I can drop down to heal up my stronger characters uh, if they start kind of getting weakened. And then there's actually, I want her to go right there for now because she has a really great uh, ability when she, when you drop her down onto the field, she deals AOE damage and I think stuns the enemies for a little bit. But you can actually have multiple different teams all set up. And when you get farther into the game, you'll actually jump into chapters and stories and stuff where you're going to be able to deploy multiple squads like I am right now. I'm only deploying one. But you'll eventually come across really large maps where you'll be moving these around. Now, I'm not going to be doing like the craziest in-depth, um, like the craziest in-depth kind of gameplay right now. Uh, I'll probably do a lot more videos over the next couple week, or over, over the next week or so as the game is, um, uh, can we move at least one more time? Uh, no, we can't. We only get the one act. Oh, we should be able to move. There we go. And we'll engage in combat. So. When it comes to the combat in this game, it's actually, it's extremely hectic and I, I like the combat, but it gets, I feel like it does get a little bit hard to get used to because there's just so much stuff happening on the screen. It's kind of difficult to tell whether or not your characters are using certain abilities or if you know, like heals are going off or if AOEs and uh, stun abilities and stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and turn off one times uh, or two times speed and we'll just go ahead and summon and show you guys kind of how the gameplay is going to work. So. Basically, you get your units down here. You can drop them down once you have enough energy to summon them, kind of like simple, you know, similar kind of card game systems. And then they'll just move across the field and attack the enemy on the other side of the field. You do have like uh, commander abilities that you can drop down or ship abilities that you get from your command ship. Um, you can go ahead and deploy more units. There is this kind of red field on, or like this red area where basically you cannot summon your units within there. There are certain uh, stages that you'll eventually go down as you defeat the enemy. It'll actually shrink that restricted area, allowing you to summon units closer and closer to the enemy. So 
that combat phase that just barely happened was really, really fast. Like that happened super quick. I'm sure you guys didn't see everything that was going on. It will take a little bit of time to kind of get used to everything because there's just, there's a lot of stuff going on, on the screen. And I had that going at one times speed. Once it gets to two times speed in auto gameplay, you may come across stages where like, you're probably gonna get beaten, you're gonna lose, and you're gonna be like, what just happened? And you'll have to actually manually take over. And you'll definitely wanna make sure you know how your units work. You can go and take a look at all their skills and abilities. And I definitely highly recommend it because the way that the characters are designed are obviously for this style of gameplay system. And they're a little bit different than other games. And so you'll wanna kinda make sure that you understand like how their abilities work uh, when it comes to like actually summoning them at like what specific time. Sometimes some units will have um, some units will have like counter abilities that you can drop down. Some units will have abilities like as soon as they're summoned, they'll actually uh, heal your teammates and stuff like that. So you'll want to pay attention to things like that when you're summoning your units and like what their abilities. And there is kind of like this rock, paper, scissors system in the game where ranged characters are stronger against defenders and so forth from there. Uh, so we're going to we're going to turn on time to speed auto and ultimate skill auto and show you guys kind of like how most of the gameplay is going to look when you first jump into it. As you can see, my team is just running straight across the field, dealing an, ins an insane amount of damage to the enemy. And we can actually hide the user the user interface. I love that. And we absolutely dominate. Now, one thing about this game too is the characters, their levels are not like locked behind your actual account. As long as you have the resources, you can basically level your characters almost to their max level pretty much right away. Like I was able to get one character level 50, and then I was able to, I think it's limit break them. And then um, now I can get them up to level 70 and stuff like that. So when you're going through these different stages right here uh, and you're deploying your units, each of your units has a certain amount of ammo. I believe it's maximum of two regardless. The thing is, is if your unit, your ship or whatever, ends up getting um, attacked by an enemy ship and you have no more ammo left, you're, you automatically lose. And so there's going to be stages or you actually have to strategically think like, oh, where am I gonna go ahead and place which unit where on the battlefield to make sure that like you can either replenish your ammo so you don't get automatically defeated or whether or not you're gonna place like your strongest unit kind of a little bit last and use like your weaker squad to take out some of the smaller guys and use your strongest squad to take down like the ultimate boss or whatever uh, at the end of the stage and stuff like that. So that's the combat. That's like the main loop of the gameplay that you're gonna see in the game multiple squads you can drop down on the battlefield and take down all these bosses i'm going to go ahead i'm actually going to pause this and we're going to go and head back to we should be able to head back yeah temporarily leave we're going to leave this we'll come back and do that a little bit later but i actually want to show you guys the characters because i think for me personally like the gameplay is pretty fun and all that but i want to say the actual management of the characters themselves like the designs of the characters are just so like they're so beautiful okay like I think this game has probably one of my favorite art styles. Specifically, I just love their 2D art styles for their characters because they're all animated. I, I, I want, actually, I don't think they're, I think there's maybe a few that aren't super animated. I, I think, I can't remember, but anyways, most of them are animated and I think they just look, they're gorgeous, they're beautiful. And I'm really excited to see like when events come out. Like I said, I used to have a Korean account with Valentine skins on it and they looked great. So I'm excited for future events and stuff where you can actually unlock, a, well, hopefully for the global version, they'll follow stuff with the Korean and Japanese version where you can actually unlock a lot of like the skins and cosmetics and stuff just by participating in events. Um, but we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna show you guys some of the progressions when it comes to like the characters. There are weapons and accessories you'll be able to collect for your characters. You get them a little bit later. Uh, you've got all their skills, which you can do skill training. You just need to make sure that you have the uh, training datas that you can get. There are daily training stuff that you can get in order to use this, as well as the info uh, sheets and stuff that you can do as well. And you can basically upgrade each of these different skills and stuff like their ultimate skill takes a little bit more. Then you have the limit break. The thing with the limit break compared to other gacha games, you don't need to get duplicates. You just have to get, uh, you can actually just get these counter, the APT cores. I think they're called cores depending on like the type of character. Uh, I don't think it's APT for all of them. Uh, you can also, if you want to, if you happen to have a duplicate of that character, you can limit break them using the duplicate instead, or you can just go ahead and use the uh, the limit break cost right here in order to do that. So I appreciate that. I, I'm glad that they have that in there. And then the salary no negotiation thing is actually pretty interesting. You basically get these like salary uh, 
em- envelopes or whatever, negotiation material that you can drop. So let's say I want to get her to level 31. I'm going to spend five of the highest rank one. We'll start my negotiation. Basically, I'm telling her I'll spend $70,000 to boost you up to, to level 31. But if I wanted to, I can actually spend more of my uh, credits for a higher chance at a great success, which gives me a 60% chance for a great success. So we're going to offer 30% more. I don't know why that like kicked me out. Can we go back, start negotiation? What should we do? What would you like me to do? We're going to offer you 91%. Why is it not doing it? That's so weird. That is weird. That must be, uh, again, this is closed beta tests, by the way. So there might be a little bit of errors, but I was going to offer... 30, th- yeah, okay, well, it's not gonna let me do it, but basically you have a chance of a great success happening, leveling up your characters and stuff like that too. So I think to end the video, like there's a lot of stuff in this game. I'm gonna continue to play it and I'll come out with more and more videos uh, down the line, but they do have some special missions and stuff going on right now for the closed beta test. You'll be able to get tons of uh, recruitments and things like that, tons of new heroes. So I'll show you guys just one basic 10 times summon just so you guys can see what it kind of looks like. Uh, let's go ahead and recruit. Yes, let's do it. They're going to give you tons of crystals for the closed beta test, so let's pull down. We did not get a SSR character. That's the highest level you can get. Uh, Arachne. Some of the robot characters, by the way, too, can actually be really good. Uh, Yuna Springfield. And we got Hirose, Hiro, Hiros Aki. I don't know. I don't know if I said that right. Uh, Amy Strickland. And I love the character designs. They all look so good. Uh, Liv Allen, so we got our SR right here. Next up, Kim Chowan, Cho- Chowan. And then Irie Alford. And then a big guy. Dang! Administration Shield Man. Look how, like, look how freaking sweet that looks. Like, this isn't just exclusively like a waifu collector. They've got good waifus and husbandos, but like, they've just got some really dope looking characters in this game. And I like the fact too that like it's not like crazy over sexualized like you see a lot of these kind of like waifu games They're they're beautiful, but they're not like crazy over sexualized or anything like that, too So but there you guys go Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more videos on counterside Then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as well as thank you so much to LD player and counterside for sponsoring this video Guys, thanks for watching. My name's Coolio, and I'll see you next time